We're back with a fresh edition of the Maui's Most In-Depth Weather Forecast video. This is the edition for Wednesday evening. It is the fourth day of October, and what a start to the month of October it has been. We've been talking all about temperatures this week, and today uh, was kind of not quite the grand finale of the uh, warmth. That'll come tomorrow, but today was the last bright and sunny and warm day. We'll have more clouds for parts of our uh, Thursday, but 80 on Sunday, 82 Monday, 84 yesterday, and then 82 today. This puts us in a fairly, you know, fairly rarefied air, if you will. Went back and looked at the record books, the, the warmest start to October through the first four days, not only for daytime highs, but for overnight lows. When you combine the two, our average temperature so far this month, 67.6. That's good for seventh place on the list of warmest starts to October through the first four days anyway. Uh, on record for our area, it's, it's actually interesting. I was curious what happened then later in the season in these same years. And while there's some variation, of course, overall, when you make a composite map, kind of looks like this in November. Um, more often than not, in that list of years I just showed you, we kind of pay the price in November compared to the average. A lot of chill on this map locally and across the eastern U.S. in the month of November. More recently, the, the uh, Octobers of 2018 and 2019 both got off to very warm starts, but November both years was quite cold. So we'll see if that pattern repeats itself this time around. On the playing field this evening, we have a couple of cold fronts. One's up here, another one out here. Sequence of fronts will come down over the next few days and put a, an abrupt end to this abnormal warmth. We've been watching some big hail producing storms all afternoon and early this evening out across the southern plain states. Back here at home, the uh, first front approaches on Thursday, giving us more clouds than sun, but it's still going to be a decent day on Thursday. We'll still make it to 80 or so uh, for probably the last time until next spring. Um, but then the showers push in. This is mostly just after sunset. On average, you can expect rainfall to start impacting most communities between 7 and 9 p.m. Thursday evening. Showers then come and go throughout the night. Now, as we've gotten a little bit closer to Friday, we've been able to start pinpointing with a little more you know, precision, if you will, uh, the sequence of you know potential rainy periods on Friday. I think the day starts with some showers, but check out the map here around midday. We're probably in a dry slot for a lot of the midday and afternoon on Friday. The sun's probably going to try to come out. And while it's not going to be in the 80s anymore, it'll still be in the lower 70s. Still pretty nice outside for a handful of hours anyway, Friday afternoon. But as a secondary front approaches Friday evening, our in-house model here does not show much. But yes, there could be a couple of showers around in time for high school football Friday evening. Don't think it's a lot of rain, don't think there'll be any thunder and lightning, but it's possible that for the first time this season we'll have a couple of raindrops around early Friday evening. Then as we head into the weekend, another band of showers will be a possibility for parts of Friday night and uh, maybe first thing Saturday morning, but a lot of Saturday morning should be okay. In fact, the sun will probably try to come out at times Saturday morning before this next push uh, of cloud cover and scattered showers makes its eastward progress. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll get into a lake effect rain shower regime this weekend. The uh, lakes, of course, are still very warm here in early October. And the air mass, especially up a few thousand feet above our heads, will be quite a chilly one. So at this point, just plan on at least the possibility of some showers around for high school football this week. In a lot of places, it probably won't rain, but in some places it might. Um, it's not going to be that cool just yet. The, the meat of the or the heart of the cooler air really pushes in later Friday night into Saturday. So we're still in the 60s Friday evening. You don't need the heavy winter jacket just yet, but you may need the poncho here and there Friday evening. Some model trends in the longer range just over the last 24 hours. Um, yes, it's going to moderate next week. We're going to bottom out with highs not far from 50 on Sunday, not much better on Monday. And then we kind of rebound closer to average by the second half of next week. But our averages are in the mid-60s uh, by the middle of next week. Beyond that, the models are starting to pick up on another push of cooler air uh, by next weekend. So this is, uh, you know, about 10 days from now. So sometime around mid-month, 14th, 15th of the month, there's probably another cold front that comes in. And so any rebound later next week probably only gets us back to about average or so. We're not looking for, you know, middle and upper 70s to around 80 again anytime real soon. So here's one model depiction of, of things uh, over the next 10 days. This is what we call the GFS Ensemble Forecast. So here's the big cool down, here's the moderation, and then after that, yeah, it's not into the deep freeze or anything, but we're probably back below average for a time, starting not this coming weekend, but the following weekend. So it's going to be a little bit of a turbulent up and down pattern. Uh, will this kind of lead to a pretty chilly, if not cold, November? You know, earlier on in the video, we, we showed you what happened a lot of times when after we had a, a warm start to October. Will it happen this year? 
It's only October 4th. It's a little too early to say, but that's going to be on the table. It's you know a possibility anyway. And when it comes to our winter forecast, we're starting to hone in on the first week of November for uh, the issuance of our annual winter forecast, maybe sometime just after uh, Election Day. So 7th, 8th, 9th, I forget the date. Something like that in early November. We'll put out our annual winter forecast. We always do a long version right here. Uh, same place you watch Weather for Weather Geeks. Sometimes that video runs 15 or even 20 minutes because we get into a lot of detail. There's a lot of work that goes into those seasonal forecasts. It's really a bummer when you put all that work in and then the forecast busts like last year. But uh, we're hoping we don't have a repeat of that coming up for this year. In the meantime, thank you for watching Weather for Weather Geeks on this Wednesday evening. I'll see you right back here on Thursday.